don't talk to me. If you're not going to talk good, just don't speak to me. Let's say you and I are having difficulty leaving a place. If you turn to me and say, there's no escape, well, you're goddamn right. There is no escape, but that fact would probably escape you. Or let's say you and I have plans to watch the forthcoming Oppenheimer movie together. If at any point you feel like dropping a fact on me, and if that fact is J. Robert Oppenheimer invented the nuclear bomb, baby, I'll go atomic. And you can rest assured that I will plan on watching the forthcoming Barbie movie starring me as Ken by myself. And if perhaps you and I find ourselves stranded anywhere in Texas, a fate worse than hell. And if when help finally arrives you say, the Calvary is here, I will cannibalize you like the body of Christ but only to the point at which I savor the pork-like flavor of your hamstring on my tongue, because I shall then spit out your flesh, disgusted by the memory that you never did talk good. Yeah, you may feel content to oonga boonga your way through life, rubbing elbows with the rest of the pimps in starch-pressed Izod golf wear, living large off your racist father's legacy. Just don't do it around me. So consider this a fair warning. You may converse with me, but the moment you talk not good, in my eyes, the value of your life diminishes to something less than that of all the two-bit hustlers prowling the halls of Congress. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to criticize an infant on its messy eating habits. (laughs) ¶¶